And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Alwakiria, which was a request from Crow via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. Alwakiria was a basal sauriscian that lived in the late Triassic and what is now India, was found in the Maleri Formation. It's bipedal and small. It had an elongated head, long arms, and a long tail. In 2010, Gregory Paul estimated Awakiria to be about 5 feet, or 1.5 meters long, and weigh 4.4 pounds, or 2 kilograms. A skinny guy. Yeah. It was probably an omnivore based on the teeth, and Awakiria may have eaten plants, insects, and small vertebrates. It had heterodont, or different shaped teeth, in the upper jaw. The front teeth were straight and slender, like Eoraptor. The teeth in the sides of the jaw were like carnivorous theropods, curved backwards, but they were not serrated. So again, the teeth are similar to Eoraptor. Both had these gaps between the teeth in the premaxillary and maxillary bones in the upper jaw. The type species is Alwakiria malariensis. It was originally named in 1987 by Chatterjee as Wakiria malariensis, in honor of paleontologist Alec Walker, but it turned out that name was used for a bryozoa, also known as a moss animal. They live in shallow water in colonies. So then in 1994, Chatterjee and Chrysler renamed the dinosaur Alwakiria malariensis. So they just threw his first name, Al, in the mix. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Changed it enough. The genus name means for Alec Walker, and the species name refers to the formation where it was found. The holotype, it's incomplete. It includes parts of the jaws, incomplete vertebrae, most of a femur, and an ankle bone, also known as an astragalus. The description called it a, quote, imperfectly known fragmentary material. <laughs> <laughs> imperfectly known is a very generous way to describe that. Yep. The partial skull is about 1.5 inches or 4 centimeters long. That is tiny, Mm -hmm. is, again, imperfectly known. Yes. In 2005, Raoult and Reme said Awakiria was a chimera, with parts of the skull being a cruotarsin, archosauriform. In other words, not a dinosaur. Right, and the vertebrae being from other reptiles, but that the femur and the ankle bone were from a dinosaur, and the ankle bone specifically had sauriscian features but maybe not enough features to identify it as its own genus or species, would be my guess. Well, the name is, still stands. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now it's just an ankle bone and a femur? I think so, or maybe it's a case of depending who you talk to. So originally, Alwakiria was thought to be a basal theropod, similar to Coelophysis and Procompsognathus. Then later was thought to be a Herrerasaurid, and then most recently, a basal Sauriscian. The fossils were found in red mudstone, and it's one of the earliest known dinosaurs from India. Oh, cool. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash inodino or click the link on the left.